Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing another highly requested nail video of how I do my gel manicure at home using Builder Gel. Using this cuticle pusher, I'm going to push all my cuticles back gently, but with a good strong arm just to get all that skin. I, I especially have really dry skin, so. Then I'm gonna go in with this clipping tool. All products are listed down below on my Amazon storefront. Then I'm gonna go in with my favorite nail tips for right now, they're my favorite. <laughs> I pretty much change all the time, but watch closely. You do not want something like that where there is a little bit of space on the nail bed. You want it to pretty much be flat so that it's not popping off and it's on there nice and secure. You can fix the edges later, so don't worry if it goes over your actual nail on the sides and repeat find your match for every single nail making sure that it's a perfect fit then taking your little nail file you are going to go in and fix the edges so that it aligns to the natural edges of your nails like so you can see that's a really good fit now I'm gonna go and do the rest with every single finger then I'm gonna go in with this drill and I'm going to drill the inside so there's no more shine. It's very, so that it looks almost matte like that. And then I'm gonna go in with each nail. I'm gonna do that to each nail. Then using that same file, I'm gonna buff off all the natural shine on just the tips of my natural nail. This is gonna help this glue stick on. This is also my favorite glue ever. It's called Dead Gal and it's on Amazon. Again, it's linked down below. It's just super strong. It's like the best nail glue I've used. But I'm gonna pull a little bit of glue on my nail and then a lot of glue on the tip and just hold it down. I love these clips too. They just help hold it down so that I can have the process move a lot faster. Once you do that with all your nails, you're gonna go in with your clipping tool, or you could use the cuticle clipper as well. I used to do that back in the day, but this thing saved me. I'm gonna put it on setting one, because I want shorter nails than I usually do. Usually it's on setting three or four. Do that to all your nails, and you can see it cuts it perfectly, all the same length. Now you're gonna go in and you're gonna take your same file and just file along those edges so that the nail shape is looking how you want it to look. And repeat with every single hand. I mean nail, not hand. <laughs> if you're having a little trouble, just follow the natural edges of your nail. And once it's looking how you want it to look, then you're gonna take your little clipping tool. If you like this oval shape that I'm doing, um, or if you like square, then you won't need to do this step. And my light shut off on me, so that's great. But I'm gonna grab my ring light. Anyway, just fix that if you like your oval shape. This really just helps. And then you're gonna file, connect all the dots, connect all the lines, that's what I say. And you'll just see how much easier it is to get that oval shape. I don't really know what kind of shape I like. Every time I get my nails done at the salon, which was before, years ago, they were like, this is not a shape. I don't know, this is not a shape. We can't do oval and you know, circle and coffin at the same time. Um, I wanted it like circular, but really thin. I, that's why I started doing nails because really no one could get exactly what I wanted besides me. And I paid so much money and I couldn't really tell them. And then they started talking in a language I didn't understand and then I got paranoid. <laughs> So anyway, I did my own stuff and it just works better for me. Now you're gonna take your little buffing block and just file off all of that excess stuff, all of that excess nail that's gonna be hanging off from the file. Again, everything is linked down below, including these little buffing blocks. And next you're just gonna kind of evaluate and see where you're gonna need to take the um, drill. Do you see that little corner? We're gonna drill that off. We don't want any lifting, but be very careful to not get the center where the glue is because you don't want it to come off, of course. All that hard work for nothing. And yeah, just do it nice and gently with your drill. You can use a hand file, but it might take a little longer. Next, I'm gonna go in with my favorite dehydrator. I'm gonna apply generously only on the nail beds and the fake nail. This is gonna really help that builder gel stick on there. Then I'm gonna go in with my favorite primer by Emily. Everything is linked down below and I'm gonna do the same thing, but wait for it to completely dry before I go in with the base coat from Emily, And then cure that for 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite builder base by Emily in color 152. I'm gonna pull it around the cuticle area like that, ensuring that I really get it close. 
and now I'm just gonna kind of bring the color down just so that I can start building that apex now if you don't know what the apex is it's that when you turn your nail there should be a natural bump there where your natural nail would usually look like but since we're building a nail we have to build that apex so it's looking a little better you can see now this gel moves quickly okay so I'm gonna go quickly and do the next three fingers And then I'm going to go in with this little detailed brush and fix all the corners so that I don't miss anything. Then once those four fingers are done, I'm going to go in and cure them first before I touch the thumb. Just because this gel, like I said, it moves very fast. So you just want to make sure that it's all your hard work is not moving on you and you seal it. You don't need to cure it for a full 60 or 90 or even 120 seconds. You just need to do a little 15 second cure and then it's pretty much locked into place. The long cure will come at the end. So here you see me pulling it towards the cuticle and then pulling it down, taking my detailed brush and just fixing that shape, fixing the corners. And then I'm gonna stick her into the light for a full 90 second cure. Then I'm gonna stick her into the light for a full 15 seconds. Then I'll go in with this thumb and do the first layer here. This one came out so much nicer. I'm getting better and better as I go. <laughs> I really like the way it looks though. Next, I'll stick it all in and go in with the second coat. I'm doing the same exact process, making sure you're building that apex. You can turn your nails to the side or cure each finger singularly. I, st I started doing that when I first started. I had to do that, cure each finger because it kept moving. I just couldn't, I took too long. So there, that hand is done. Now I'm gonna work and do the other hand. Then once you finish your other hand, you're going to cure both hands for a full 120 seconds. Then you're going to take these little alcohol prep pads or whatever alcohol you have. Don't use acetone, that'll burn off the gel you just put on and you're just gonna wipe off that excess shiny sticky layer. Now you're gonna take that same file and just fix that shape. It's just gonna kinda make it look a little more perfect and you can take it to the tops as well to really shave down, make it look more natural, fix any imperfections. Sometimes I'll use my e-drill but today I just use my file and this buffer. Just making sure it's nice and flat, exactly how I like it. Now, with these little scrubbers, it's almost like you're in a real nail salon. <laughs> so I took it to the bathroom where I'm going to wash my hands, put some soap, and just scrub away all of that excess nail stuff. Use a lint-free towel, and that's what it should look like before you put your top coat. Now, you could put a top coat here, and it would look perfect, but it's fall. I'm still feeling fall, so I'm going to go in with this really nice wine color. I did my boyfriend's mom's nails and I loved it so much. It's a new color, so I'm gonna go in and apply it nicely around the cuticle, not too close. You could clean it up with another little brush and acetone, but I wanna avoid all that. So the first coat, I just go in like this. And then the second coat, I'll get more detailed and I'll use my little detail brush. I love this color. I'm telling you, doing your nails at home is so much more rewarding than going to the nail salon. It's first of all very cheap, much cheaper. I haven't spent any money on nail products in probably three months, but I've been able to do my nails <laughs> every single two weeks. If anything breaks, I'm at my own liberty. I can fix it on my own. And I just like it. I love it. And it's also relaxing for me. Going to a nail salon was just definitely not my vibe. <laughs> Here I'm gonna go in with this little detailed brush and just fix those corners. I'm so sorry, I was out of focus and out of the camera. I don't know how to obviously do my nails and record at the same time. So yeah, then I'm gonna cure that and go in with my favorite top coat and pretty much do the same process as you would another layer of nail polish, making sure 